Aldarain Modren is called Hoiga Akonta. Okay, uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And welcome um, to our today's lesson. So, um, today we are going to discuss the error passage, okay? Uh, so our form one class really today so if you can remember in chapter five we have been discussing uh, systems okay so we have just finished the circulatory system okay so circulatory system So we have concluded or finished circulatory system. So today we are going to discuss about the respiratory system and other important system uh, which uh, make, makes us to really live or really uh, makes our life possible. Okay. So it's a, a passage or respiratory system. Okay. Man tamar kaharo hanu sada meneyati hasusatan circulatory system ki. When he prefaces ki, you blur the body ki wasa ganam dein kaso shekhini ni. But kama man to hanu dein na no kasha ki no mahe the air passage ki amma hawa mrein ki allo yakan respiratory system. Okay. So the air passage consists of the nasal cavity. Okay. So air passage on my respiratory system it contains those structures so the first structure is called nasal cavity okay it is the first part where will air go to okay and pharynx so pharynx it is where the mouth and nasal cavity meet okay larynx trachea bronchi and bronchiolus eventually it ends up to alveolar. Okay, so the respiratory system ko markaro han si good u ek dona structures ko ka kobi yai wa hako ka a nasal cavity. Okay, so nasal cavity wa hako mida sanki. Okay, or from it is our nose. Okay, so this the nose, uh, the nose, the pharynx. Okay, your pharynx ko a hal ka nasal cavity ya af marka ay ka kurman. Okay, so hal ka talqa da ano nung nano mahay da talol ka cavity ka sanka. You see, the column has the afkoika kurma yellow and a pharynx. Larynx, it is at the back of our uh, windpipe or trachea or at the upper part of the trachea. I have to hide the una hammer, haggis the middle larynx, trachea or windpipe. Okay, so most of the books you can see, I'm a silk, it's also known as windpipe. Windpipe. So the color of the windpipe, I'm a trachea. Okay, bronchi. So bronchi, when I get on now, bronchi is the plural. Okay, so plural way of bronchi. But when we it's singular, it becomes bronchus. Okay, bronchus. When it's singular, it's a bronchus, but now it's a plural. Okay, so it's a bronchi and bronchiolus. Bronchiolus uh, is when the bronchi further divides into smaller tubes. Okay, in smaller tubes. So these smaller tubes are called bronchiolus. Okay, and finally it ends up or it becomes alveolar, a small sacs. Okay, which will uh, accommodate, you know, um, the gases exchange, carbon dioxide and oxygen exchange. Okay. So in terms of COVID, have you have for example trachea or sloconoyakana windpipe, bronchi or loyakana mako singular you have bronchus marandona, you see the kalam ha had a bronchiolus. Bronchiolus no marku bronchi gusi kai samo si yarada. Okay, yellow na wa bronchiolus. When we breathe in, when we take oxygen in, the air travels through our nose. On the mouth. Okay, so Markano inhale. When we inhale, the oxygen or the air first enters into our nose and the mouth. But mostly we uh, inhale uh, through nose. Okay, so Marka I never saw now. I'm a whole other than Kalan and Nahaka Uhore say oxygen to Marka Sokele Sahawa was Sanka. 
Yeah, Africa. Okay, it is the nose and the mouth. This is the first structure which receives the air from the outside. Okay, then it goes down into the large tubes. After the nose and mouth, it goes to a large tubes called windpipe or trachea. Okay, it, it is the same thing. We could say trachea or windpipe. Okay, and finally bronchus, one of the bronchi or the bronchi. We could say bronchi or bronchus. So when we say bronchus, we refer to a singular uh, form of bronchi. That's what it means. Okay, so it could be bronchi or bronchus. Okay. So oxygen to keep the house would rather as a large tube. So these large tubes are called windpipe or trachea. So see here, it's also known as the windpipe or trachea, just it means the same thing. And the, finally the uh, bronchus. So we will see these structures in the next slide uh, for better clarification. Okay. Then it, it goes into the lungs after the bronchi. After the bronchi, the oxygen goes into the lungs. Okay, each lung contains a network of very small tubes. So these is small tubes are called bronchioles. Okay, these are the bronchioles. So each lung, each of our lung contains uh, many smaller tubes which are known as bronchioles. Okay, so these small tubes or network of tubes are called bronchioles. Bronchioles. Okay. Each tube has air sacs. So at the end of each small tube or each bronchiole, there is an air sac which is known as alveola. Okay, so this air sac is called alveola. So, lengths come from the whole circle. So, lengths that we have to cover here, like tubes, add with air or oxygen to soak up the air. Or we have to cover the lengths. Tubes that are like the lungs are bronchioles. Okay. So, bronchioles. Aya lawan ya mereka bronchioles kita wahai kan mereka dambe ada end wahai kuhiga ama kudaman yang ini nukon yang wahai alveola. An alveola is the site where the gaseous exchange will take place. Carbon dioxide, the exchange of carbon dioxide and oxygen. So oxygen will be taken into the blood stream and carbon dioxide will be removed from the capillaries. Into the alveola, into the bronchi, bronchioles, to the bronchi, to the trachea, to the nose, and then we breathe out the, uh, the carbon dioxide. Okay. Air goes along the air sacs and passes through the wall of air sacs into the blood vessels around the air sacs. Okay. So when the oxygen arrives, or when the air arrives in alveola, we said it is where the gaseous exchange will take place. Okay, so for example, let's say this is, you know, um, alveola. Okay, this is the alveola. Oxygen arrives here. When oxygen reaches alveola, what happens is Oxygen will pass through the walls. Here we have the blood vessel. Okay, around the um, alveola we have a network of capillaries or blood vessels. So the oxygen goes across the walls of the alveola into the blood stream, into the blood stream. Okay. Where the carbon dioxide in the blood will also pass through the walls of the air sacs, alveola, into the alveola. Okay, so carbon dioxide will enter into the alveola, where oxygen um, exits, you know, uh, uh, the alveola across this walls into the blood streams. Okay, so in Tamarkam and Hawaiian. Oxygen to make so good, we have the alveola. Alveola is what we have to do with the capillaries. Okay, so capillaries to make 
waxay ku gadaamay yihiin alfiola ama each alfiolas gidaarkan maxay heedey alfiolohuna it is a very thin very thin which allows you know uh, oxygen to easily pass through the walls of alveola into the blood stream marka oxygen ta kan joogto waxay ka baxaysa marka maxay alveolaha waxayna galaysa maxay into the blood vessel ama dhiig way galaysa capillary ski xididka dhiigga xididada dhiigga sidoo kale waxa marka ku jira xilligaas carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide ka ku jira xididada dhiigguna wuxuu ka soo baxaya marka xididada wuxuu soo galiyaa alveolaha so we see that in our case oxygen into the blood stream and carbon dioxide heat is into the alveola to breathe out okay so in tas marka micna the way sentence can air goes along the air sacs and passes through the walls of air sacs air sacs here we refer to alveola air sac marka halka leena waxaan uga jeedna alveola okay alveola uga jeedna markaas okay As the blood travels from the lungs to body parts or to the body, okay. Marku dhiigu ka imanaya marka lungs ka. Marku dhiigu ka imanaya lungs ka oo jirka la geeyo. Oxygen goes from the blood into the cells and then cells use that oxygen, okay. So when we um, learned that we have different types of blood vessels. For example, in the heart chambers, okay, the four chambers of the heart, the left receives oxygenated blood from the lungs. When it receives, it pumps the blood into the body. Okay, so this body, this blood which is going to the body contains oxygen. So the main reason or the main goal of you know taking the blood or oxygen. Uh, I mean taking the blood with oxygen is to deliver this oxygen to the cells tissues and organs okay marka so to marka for example dhiiga marka la socoto oxygen to oxygen ta marka waxa isticmaalaya wa cells ki okay so for example let's say uh, this is your cell okay cell ko marku sida yahay for example around the cell there is a blood capillaries okay then oxygen in the blood oxygen ta ku jirta maxa hayda dhiiga okay oxygen ta dhiiga ku jirta for example in the blood stream it comes from the blood vessel into the cell okay waxa ka imaan sa marka xididka dhiiga ka soo baxsa oxygen ta hayda dhiiga cell and it's the target uh place or measure local talagalay where carbon dioxide is eliminated from the cell into the blood stream okay haga carbon dioxide ka signal laga soo saaray markaas cell ka markaas in this process carbon dioxide is also picked from the cells into the blood vessels okay so to be clear this is for example the cell okay in the cell there is a carbon dioxide high concentration of carbon dioxide okay and here we have the blood vessel the capillary okay in the capillary we have presence of oxygen so the carbon dioxide in the cell should be removed from the cell because it's a waste product okay we don't need to have carbon dioxide in our cells where the oxygen in the blood stream should be removed from the blood into the cells for cells to utilize that oxygen or to use that oxygen okay so carbon dioxide cell ka kuchra lo ma bahna ka muddo der ku si jiro wa laga saaraya markaas the carbon dioxide then goes into the blood stream carbon dioxide ki wuxuu galiya marka maxa helay blood stream ki where as the oxygen hagay oxygen to ay marka soo galaysa maxay 
in the cell. I'm my so good summer castle can this. So this oxygen, the cell will use to oxidize, for example, glucose uh, to produce energy. Okay. And where the carbon dioxide will be eliminated from the body. Okay. Carbon dioxide can pass the chalagasari like in oxygen tana cell kumar kawi has to male and tamarti kadali. Okay. So asharan hora at the hashton and so digan name hai in see all cells until the ogadalian tamar and the chugadalian. They require enough amount of oxygen. Otherwise, the cells will not produce energy from the food. Okay. So, in this process, the carbon dioxide will be picked up from the cells to eliminate from the system or from the body. Okay. The carbon dioxide diffuses from the blood vessels across the walls of air sacs into the bronchi. Okay. So, for example, when the blood take capillaries that surround, surrounding around maybe uh, the alveola, okay. They carry ox I mean carbon dioxide from the body. So this carbon dioxide diffuses, it enters, it goes across the walls of alveola into the alveola, okay. And then finally, after the alveola to the bronchial, then bronchiolis to the bronchi, then to the trachea, then it breathes out, okay, or we breathe out that carbon dioxide, okay. So this is, for example, let's say alveola. Okay, so this is alveola. Here we have the blood vessel. Capillary. So this blood vessel carries carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide diffuses across the walls of the blood vessel and alveola and it comes into the inside the alveola. After the inside alveola, then the carbon dioxide will be taken or will be transported from here by the bronchioles. By the bronchioles. After the bronchiolis, then we have bronchi, okay? We have the bronchi. So this is the bronchi, okay? Let's say we're bronchus, it's a singular one, okay? Bronchus, here it is the carbon dioxide. Then it goes to the trachea. Okay, C shape. Okay, then it enters the trachea. Then finally, nasal cavity. Okay, then finally, nasal cavity. How about the noise? Let's say the noise. Then we breathe out that carbon dioxide. That's what it means. Finally, the carbon dioxide is breathed out through the noise and the mouth. But mainly we uh, breathe out, we exhale uh, the carbon dioxide from the body. Okay, in this, in this case. Okay. Let's see, for example, this diagram or this picture. So this picture illustrates uh, the gaseous exchange in alveola. Okay, so this is, for example, the blur vessel. This is the capillary. Okay, inside the alveola we have oxygen. This is alveolus, meaning singular. Okay, inside the alveola we have carbon dioxide and oxygen. Okay. So this arrow illustrates where the carbon dioxide, uh, carbon dioxide is coming from. So this is. A blood vessel without oxygen. So this blood vessel, I mean this blood cell, red blood cell. This is a red blood cell. Okay, this is a red blood cell. So this red blood cell carries carbon dioxide from the body, from the cells. So this carbon dioxide will 
diffuse will pass through the walls of blood vessel and the alveola and it finally comes into the inside of the alveola to breathe out okay so here we have the bronchi the bronchiole so this bronchiole it is where the carbon dioxide will be taken out and oxygen will be received okay so here we have the oxygen this oxygen is received from the outside of the body okay so this oxygen here also it goes across the wall into the blood vessel finally here we have red blood cell so this red blood cell will carry the oxygen then to the cells okay so here also we have a red blood cell so this red blood cell uh, carries oxygen from the alveola and then this carbon this oxygen will be distributed uh, to the body parts to cells tissues and so on okay. so alveola and mucosa we can see now the carbon dioxide can come up when the head is dying we can see that when the alveola is carbon dioxide can come up when the head is dying or the blue arrow or arrow of blue guy then the bit that we call on is the central color of the arrow oxygen مركز سوق شاء الفيولها وحي كي قد بيسا قدا هذا الفيولها يو حدد كديكا كدي منو حق هذا يا هر بلا سلكي أما حدد كي أما أنقلي ديكا عساسا وكتشرا هالكن وحاضرة وديار وامر كان أكسجين تقالا تن أكسجين تمركا وحي كين يعني محي سلسكي تيشوسكي أورغانسكي ماله لوك تلاقلا okay so this picture it summarizes what we discussed about in the previous slides so این تاسو مرکا اینو سکو بیا گازس اکسچنج کی اما الفیولا هر شیپ کی سی سی دوباره ایم های گازس اکسچنج کی. so this is the capillaries, this is alveola. so next we will see this structure. okay, so this structure is a nasal cavity. it's one of the structures we have seen in previous slides. so the nasal cavity contains hairs. So these hairs, they help our uh, or they assist our um, nasal cavity to prevent uh, these particulates to come into the uh, cells. I mean, into the nasal cavity, then into the throat or into the trachea, and then finally into the lungs. It has, it contains cilia, okay, uh, hair like structure. Mucus secreted cells. So these cells they will secrete mucus, a liquid substance, or which is sticky. Okay. So this mucus uh, prevents bacteria and other germs and other particles also to go into the uh, and trachea. Okay. So we sneeze out or we throw out. Okay. The hairs filter the incoming air. Okay. So here is who I am. 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 Okay. Uh, this particulars and bacteria to go into the trachea so uh, if they go into the trachea for example if bacteria uh, survives to go into the back into the trachea it may cause lung infection or or, or pleural infection or pleurites okay cilia movies they stack this particulars so when mucus uh, trapped the substance it should be then moved from the nasal cavity into the outside wall okay so the cilia then does that function the cilia it moves the stack or uh, uh, the bacteria or the dust particulars Upwards to sneeze out. Okay, so see you do more. Have a cow in your tummy. Have a see you hair like stretcher. Cause in my cow have a bacteria. Have a oyang ko sang ko o kapte markas. In my cow I debit to usara my cow that time. No, this no. I debit to skip usara. Okay. In addition to that, nasal cavity it warms up because the oxygen we or the air that comes from the outside is is cold. Okay, I'm a wakabu. So it warms up the oxygen or let's say the air 
and it moistens. It moistens. Amo kuyam be makakere gesa to prevent any kind of friction or uh, to cause problems to the epithelial tissue in the nasal cavity. Nasal cavity has also the ability to synthesize the odor, to feel the odor, okay, to synthesize the odor. I may smell, okay. So, the okay. nasal cavity go how do they make an urio, for example, um, hired urta okay, okay. So, whether you buy, for example, a uh, good, uh, let's say, perfume or not, it depends, okay. So, nasal cavity go make an tasso gum himsen, okay. Uh, then let's go to the next slide. The length itself. Okay. The lengths are two elastic pouches. Okay. Lying inside the rib cage. We have a length school while Okay. So lava that's not how you can hide the lie inside the chest or inside the rib cage, behind the chest inside the rib cage okay so they are connected to the air outside the body by windpipe or trachea okay so trachea marka ko horesa ama ko horesa marka the nasal cavity for running skin learning skin okay so for example let's say this is a trachea okay this is trachea then trachea branches oh then trachea branches into bronchi. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Okay. So this is trachea. It has C-shaped structures to prevent it to collapse. Okay. Okay. So and um, so the lengths. So we said the lengths. They are two elastic pouches. Okay. So that lying inside the rib cage behind the chest. Okay. So what two pouches? Well, lava push or collect. Okay. So they are behind our chest. Or cut them by skin Okay, inside the rib cage. So the rib cage and the chest provide protection uh, from injury. Okay. So they are connected to the air side, uh, to the air outside the body by windpipe or trachea. So trachea or windpipe, they are just the same. Okay. So this is, for example, the length. This is the trachea. This is the airway. Okay. For example, this is your nose. After the nose, the air goes into the trachea. After the trachea will branch. So the trachea branches into two bronchi. So the oxygen, for example, goes into each side of the lung through the bronchi. Okay. So this is the length. So each bronchi goes into the lung into one lung before it divides further into bronchioles. So this is, for example, a bronchus. So this each bronchus goes into one lung before it further divides into uh, bronchioles. So bronchioles are small branches of um, small branches of of the bronchi. Okay. And bronchioles will finally br uh, become tiny tubes or air sacs called alveola. Or a singular form, it is alveolus. Okay. So, mark a bronchialis. Go. I. I. You want to see? Okay. So, man, mark a bronchial. I'm here. For example, bronchial alveola. Okay. I'm a air sac. So, for example, this is a lung. One lung. I'm a mid. Half some part. So, we're for example. So, this is for example uh, a bronchial. Bronchial. From the trachea. So, this bronchial it further divides. into bronchioles. So the bronchioles, at, at the end of the bronchioles, we have these air sacs. So the, these air sacs are called alveola. Alveola, some alveola. 
Alveolar are tiny sacs within the lens that allow oxygen and carbon dioxide to move between the lens and blood stream. So, so we call some of the alveolar how we call it some capillaries, not where go blood vessels or the capillaries. So, the carbon dioxide goes out from the uh, blood vessel into the alveolar, whereas the oxygen uh, goes into the blood stream from the alveolar. Okay, mark how we speak there now. Oxygen to higher is mark how blood vessel ka, how carbon dioxide from oxygen to higher mark how blood vessel ka also goes to alveolar. Can you know how to say the bronchioles then bronchi then well enough. So now we do it in mark how sarah now. Okay. Okay, so. Um, it is the site of gaseous exchange. Gaseous exchange meaning uh, the carbon dioxide and oxygen. Okay. So the inhaled oxygen moves from the alveolar, the inhaled oxygen, the oxygen that comes from the outside moves from the alveolar into the blood vessel. It enters the blood vessel or capillaries, mainly we are called capillaries and carbon dioxide moves from the capillaries into the alveolar to exhale okay so the inhaled oxygen oxygen to marka so nefsane ama sankay ka soo qaadanay waxay soo galaysa marka alveolaha then alveolaha way ka baxaysa waxay galaysa maxaa capillaries okay ama blood vessels ga sa to deliver ama si lo geeyo marka sta cells ki Locum had a tissue to organs like your brain, your heart, your muscles, and so on. Okay. Whereas the carbon dioxide comes from, uh, it moves from the alveolar, I mean the capillaries. I saw what was happening from the capillaries into the alveolar. Kedimna is locally a carbon dioxide to alveolar. Kedimna is exhales. We breathe out. Exhale meaning breathing out. I'm going to breathe out. When I'm done, I'm going to come to the end of the sentence. The alveolar is surrounded by a network of blood capillaries to carry away oxygen and drop carbon dioxide. So the capillaries that surrounded um, alveolar, they carry away the oxygen from the alveolar into the bloodstream and drop carbon dioxide to, re to exhale or to remove from the body. Alveolar is a one cell thick. One cell thick meaning it's, it has a very thin layer. So the thinness of the, la of the alveolar walls allows oxygen can easily pass through the walls into the bloodstream and carbon dioxide can easily uh, come into the uh, alveolar. The lining of the alveolar is moist. Moist meaning it has moisture. So this moisture allows uh, the oxygen to diffuse easily into the bloodstream uh, where carbon dioxide can really go out. So the next, this diagram for example illustrates. So this is for example the nasal cavity. This is the nasal cavity, okay, sorry. This is the nasal cavity your nose. So we take oxygen through the nasal cavity into the pharynx. Okay. So here it is where the mouth and the nasal cavity meet. Okay. At upper part of the trachea is called larynx. Okay. So here it's called larynx, the upper part of the trachea. Okay. Here we have the trachea. So it has a C-shaped cartilage to prevent the collapse of uh, the trachea. Okay, so here we do have uh, trachea. So trachea branches into two main uh, uh, bronchi. So this is the bronchi and this is the bronchi. So each bronchi goes into one length. Okay, after the bronchi enters into the length, it further branches into bronchioles. It further divides into bronchioles. So these bronchioles also further divide or branches into network of small sacs. So these air sacs are called then uh, alveolar. So this is called alveolar, and these small branches are called um, bronchioles. Okay. So this is the bronchi. This is the trachea. Okay. So this is, for example, uh, this picture illustrates 
the same thing that we have seen previously. So more carbon dioxide comes from the blood vessel. Here, this is the blood vessel. Okay, so more carbon dioxide comes from um, comes from the blood vessel into the alveola. More carbon dioxide. Okay, so there is a high presence of carbon dioxide in the blood uh, vessel. Okay, whereas more oxygen comes from alveolar into the blood stream. Okay, so this bluish area it shows deoxygenated blood, a blood without oxygen. So this blood without oxygen contains high concentration of carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide easily goes into the lung, I mean into the alveolar to take or to breathe out, where the oxygen diffuses across the walls of uh, alveolar and the blood vessel into the blood vessel. So the RBC here, these are the RBC or red blood cells. So these red blood cells, they carry the oxygen and carbon dioxide. So they drop here the carbon dioxide. They, here they drop carbon dioxide. Alveolar takes the carbon dioxide away from the RBC or the blood vessel. And alveolar drops oxygen here. So the oxygen here will be carried away by the RBC or red blood cells. Okay. Marka in tasu sour kasu hena shara hai marka gaseous exchange ki. Carbon dioxide ko hoka sabha hai marka blood vessel ki sabse ke liye alveoli. Haga oxygen to hoka sabha hai sal alveoli hai marka. I so ke liye sam hai hai day and and blood vessels ki. Marka RBC ko kuch rahe ko hai kaad yam kam hai oxygen ki marka hai gini and kai bhi chhod kordan. Aate hai jate hai aate hai cells ki, organs ki, tissues ki and so on. So this brings us to an end of our class today. I shall keep number one. Tasu and Kusom have had a COVID. Okay, and we have to feel it. I shall keep number one. So how do we have a respiratory system? Key. So respiratory system key. We have started again. They and they will have COVID. So for example, nasal cavity, pharyngeal, laryngeal, bronchi, bronchioles key. You see, we have started again. Tracheal. ما هي هذه لينكسكي وحن بصورة يعني سيدو كلا على فيولا يصير أو مركا وقاعد يبقى تجاسس سكس تنشكي كربون دايوكسيد يأكسيتين كسي مركا تشوف كأنه هو إسكوي درس دان كي مركا إنت استعشق سو كوبيا السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته